Okay. Hey, okay. Hi, I am. This is Calvin Taylor. Uh, I am live here on Facebook, uh, and I will be covering, uh, as I just found out, what another protest was happening today. Uh, the uh, protest against the "Don't Say Gay" bill, I believe. And so, uh, I'll be first covering that. Then there'll be another one after that. So stay tuned. Hi, how you doing? And uh, th there's this one, there's uh, another one after this, right? The, uh, the uh, protest against the overturning of Roe vs. Wade? Yes, there's another one after this, yes. And wasn't there another, I was wondering there was another one, uh, maybe, uh, I guess capitalism or something? In fact, I thought maybe it was here, maybe I'm wrong about that. But... I don't remember hearing about that one. Okay. I was just, I maybe, it's a, maybe, it's a, it's, it's, maybe it's a different organization. Yeah, maybe. Is this your first protest you said you've done? No, uh, I've done the uh, the anti coal one that was right here, the uh, anti uh, fracking that was over there by Chase Bank. Uh, I've also done the uh, the uh, mobs against the wine. I've also done a couple. I'll just say that. <laughs> Are you from here? Uh, actually, I'm from Seattle, but me and my fiance moved here from uh, from there because we got uh, we got taxed out of our apartments there. So. Yeah. So, uh, will you, uh, how long have you been a part of uh, this organization? So, I'm actually part of the, the uh, we're from Bowling Green, Ohio, okay. up near Toledo. Okay. And we're from, we, uh, the nonprofit we're doing, it's the BGO Pride. Okay. It's uh, like the, the Pride, whatever, for the county. So, mm -hmm. we're new, we're trying it out. Uh, and Kendra's a part of it, she's going to be a speaker. Okay. Here, so. Uh, well, what was your name again? My name's Jordan. Jordan, okay. And you are? I'm Calvin. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Nathan. Nathan? Nice to meet you. Hi. Alright, I'm gonna run I do have to say it's the most colorful protest I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the dogs going on. Picked a heck of a day like the last one. It's windy as heck right now. Okay, 
signs. Oh, I should be. If you want a sign, we have some materials up here. You can make a sign. Uh, we were passing around those slogans that you can use. So come on up, speakers. Um, like I said, if you want to make a sign, we've got some materials to carry around. Uh, you could act as a sale. Is this better? Okay. How about that? Yeah? Yeah? How about that? Now? Now we got? Yeah? Speakers, please come up with the So far, we got plenty of dogs going on here. There's two that's off. Same kind of protest in the same way. Yep. All right, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm able to be here for one of them at least. <laughs> I didn't know about the other one until last night. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure. Can I hold on to my head? Okay. <laughs> and the first one I met you, I think, was at the anti coal rally here. I did not go to that one. You didn't go to that one? I have plenty of height. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that's weird because you have a familiar face. So, huh. so. Yeah. And it could have been different ones. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, is it my brain getting in your way? Oh, well, that's the other way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what 
organization is doing this? So this is a collective. We have BLM Co, uh, Trans Ohio, uh, Equality Ohio has uh, representation here. I'm with T Talks. Um, we've also uh, we have uh, support from P Flag and from. Um, Moms into action, and uh, we can get a lot of support from all the big players representing here. As far as speakers, we're trying to have as many representatives as we can for the people that are affected mm -hmm. by such policy. Yeah. So we're hoping that that's going to work out uh, to where we we just want everyone to uh, feel as represented as possible today because this yeah. is a grassroots community effort to just draw awareness to a very bad trend in legislature yeah. thinking. And, and do, you, do you guys have any other uh, events planned? Uh, um, this, is this, is the, this is the first uh, the first one that we're doing right now, um, and then we're going to see how things go after the initial uh, the initial voting, mm -hmm. and we'll move forward from there and see what we have to do. Okay. Uh, so it's sort of like you know, sort of reading the crowd and seeing how things go. We're hoping right. to change some minds today. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to be here, and uh, I'm glad you guys are doing this. I'm glad to be here too. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess we have channel 10 here as well. your sign? Thank you. <laughs> not, I don't know if you want to be on camera or not. That's why I was <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you. Maybe it's that COP26. Were you here for that? I was at the Women's March back in October. You were at that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Get your signs. <laughs> you never know who wants to be on camera or they want to be on camera. That's right. I am not going to betray that. I don't care what anyone tells me. I am not going to betray that. 
trap because I work way too hard to run that child this is the one. to protect them and take care of them while they're in my charge. This and is the one that is why I am protect them. No, I was like looking at the I was looking at the I was looking at So maybe we'll start pretty soon. So far, so good as far as coverage. Thank you for being here today. Uh, Bear with us just a few moments while I double check a couple of speakers' whereabouts and we'll be getting started. Uh, if you want to move in a little closer so you can hear better, that's great too. And thank you so much. We're going to do what we can to be as peaceful and unobstructive as we can. So we're going to try not um, obstruct people from walking on the sidewalk. We want to make sure we stay off of the direct grounds of the state house. And we want to try and stay out of the street. Uh, we don't want to give anybody a reason to disperse us today, okay? So bear with us just a few moments. I'm going to go right with you. Go ahead and introduce yourselves to each other and get to know each other. Side of the puts on this, I like 44 percent now. Let's get this done. So, what I'll do is after this, I'll try to film as much as I can with other, uh, other things I have and see what happens. Thank 
intensive for students that may not have a safe home life and need somewhere to confide. This is dismantling what is the contemporary family unit, and this is putting our children in direct, in direct line of fire. We cannot allow this because this kind of legislation is a downhill roll into removing more and more of our freedoms and losing more and more of our autonomy as individuals and as human beings in what is supposed to be the freest country on the planet. So this cannot happen. with us. We have mama bears, we have representatives from the BIPOC community, the trans community, the LGBTQAI plus community, and every other community in between that stands against injustice and that stands for truth. Yes, thank you all for coming today. So we're going to do some speaking and we're going to get ourselves pumped up and we're going to do a march on the sidewalk around the state house and that's going to lead into the next rally that happens which is going to be for uh, well, you know, anti uh, issues, right? So we're, we have a big day today. So you have your couple of shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I would like to start off first with one of our parents who has come today.
that House Bill 616 is wrong for Ohio because it hurts all our children. issues here because this is not exclusively a queer issue or a trans issue or even a black issue but it's all of those issues together because they all intersect we are all under attack all of us and we have to stand our ground against those that would limit our freedoms it is our constitutional right it's literally the words in there life liberty and the pursuit of happiness life liberty and the pursuit of happiness includes your skin color, your gender identity, and who you choose to love. No one gets to tell you different. So I want to bring up and you are next speaker. Okay, I've been pregnant nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna start with you got this. Child. Their name's Cass, and I'll never forget the 
story of when they came out to me. It was really nice quietly. Mom, girls are pretty. And I was on the phone with my mom. And we both tried both because we knew this about them. Um, both agreed that, yeah, girls are beautiful. But maybe I was too accepting because later on that they cast on me that, Mom, I'm going to marry a girl. I'm queer. So I reassured Cass, and clearly I understood that, you know, I too am queer. And there was a moment of silence, and we just loved each other, and it was a great moment that I'll never forget. It was a sweet milestone in our relationship that has allowed openness and understanding. <laughs>
it makes it possible to have natural conversations. It's possible to have questions. It's possible to our own kids to have guidance from the professional. It's possible for parents to help their own kids. You can't stop people from who they are and ignoring any part of the kids' identity. It's
song. Your children. 